Good morning. It's good to have you join us on Nigeria Now, showing on your digital first Pan-African News Network 2S Television. My name is Merciful Adjunamo. We have a couple of newspapers this morning to analyse and joining us to analyse it is Mr. Adebayo Fajimi. You're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very good much. Good morning. Uh, let's begin from the Daily Trust newspaper. The banner headline there is Lawan Buhari didn't order fuel subsidy removal. We have three riders. The first says Nigeria not consuming up to 100 million liters daily. And then President's statement will confuse economy. Uh, that's coming from an expert. Uh, it will be societal to remove subsidy ahead of general elections. That can be found on page four. What do you make of this back and forth between um, what we know it to be and now the um, Lawan is coming out to say the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria did not order fuel subsidy removal, contrary to what Nigerians think. What do you think it has to change? Yeah, um, I think uh, it's, it's sad. And uh, I, I want to ask, so if Nigeria, uh, if Nigerian president, President Mohamed Bari is not aware of this directive, then... Who gave the order? Who gave the order in the mm. first place? So that means so, something is fishing out. And uh, that still brings to the table the question of competency that Nigerians have been asking that the president is not competent enough because how I, I would somebody in your administration just give a directive without your consent? So that really shows that something is not really, really going on well within the administration. So and I think it is very good that uh, um, Senate President, you know, have come out to confirm to Nigerians that this is not happening because that has triggered a lot of reaction from mm. Nigerians last year when yes. the minister, you know, mentioned in November that uh, the, the federal government has, you know, are prepared to remove fuel subsidy and they'll be giving grants to, uh, to uh, the poorest to, of the to poor. the poorest of the poor in Nigeria. So I think it's a very good development, and you know, knowing fully well that this is not happening, this is not happening. So I think uh, it's going to give you know Nigerians some respite, you know, at least in the new year. Okay, uh, still on the Daily Trust newspaper from the very top, uh, Governor Bello says bandits killed 220 people in Niger in 17 days. And then besides that, we're talking about insecurity again. Osibanjo Ganduje Lalong hap on role for traditional rulers. And then we see bumpy road to February 26, APC convention. Uh, the two stories talking about banditry uh, in Niger and Osibanjo Ganduje Lalong talking about the role of uh, traditional rulers talking, um, in curbing the spate of violence and insecurity in the country. What do you think they have to play? Talking about traditional rulers in all of this, they, they don't really have a lot of role to play because even these people that we're talking about, they have been elected by the government. Mm. So I think uh, the the whole responsibility falls on on the government. Though the traditional rulers also have responsibility, like you know, uh, trying to uh, uh, me, uh, to meddle within the government and the people, mm. and to ensure that you know they are the custodians of traditions, to ensure that they talk to their people, to engage them. Mm. But I think the role of the responsibility centers on government because they have the instruments and all the resources to combat and contain this menace. Okay. Uh, still on that newspaper right there, we see 25-year-old housewife commits suicide in Kano. Uh, that can be found on page 25. And troops kill IPOP militant in Anambra Forest. That can be found on page 31. Senate moves to regulate house rent in Abuja talking about uh, page six and uh, page six of the Daily Trust newspaper. This particular story, I'm sure, is some sort of a relief for some Nigerians, especially in Abuja, talking about Senate moving to regulate house rent in Abuja. I know sometime on this show last year, we've spoken about this issue, about the hike in price, how people place prices on houses in Abuja, especially uh, um, um, during the time when people need it the most. So what's your take on this story? Well, if the if the bill is being passed as, as it was moved by uh, Senator Smart at the AME, so well uh, it has been sponsored rather. So I think uh, it's it's going to be very okay, especially for for uh, for African Nigerians, for mm. people who are not that well to do. It's going to give them a lot of respite in in terms of financial uh, in in the financial aspect, you know, pertaining to house rent and all of that. So mm. I think it's a very good. Uh, it's a very good move. I if think it so too. Anyway. I think so too, because I'm I'm a house owner as well, and you know we have to pay rent and everything. <laughs> sure. uh, still on that page, we see Buhari unveils one million bags mega rice pyramids in Abuja. 
That can be found on page 30 of the Daily Trust. We move over to this Nigeria newspaper. The banner headline there is talking about APC National Convention jigsaw over February 26. Our committee yet to make known zoning of offices venue. It's illegal for CECPC to fix date. That's coming from ETA, an ex-deputy national chair. And then from the very top, there was Cisnet president. President to get back Electoral Act Amendment Bill today. That is talking about uh, uh, the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Uh, and president is to get back to the bill today. Uh, of course, that can be found on page four of this Nigeria. Besides that, 2023, why I wouldn't support Tinubu says what you do. That can be found on page 10. And troops dislodge IPOP ESN stronghold, recover weapons in Anambra, found on page 12. Terrorism, and Niger communities attacked 50 times in January. Governor Bello discloses all of that can be found on this Nigeria. We move over to Business Day. The banner headline there is 10 years after protest, over $60 billion in subsidy. No change. Of course, you can get that article on page 30 of the Business Day newspaper. Besides that, why tech not branches is king for Nigerian banks. Uh, of course, that can be found on page two. Attracts more investment, borrow less, expert tell the federal government of Nigeria. And then we see China, India, fright, cost declines as container scarcity abate. That can be found on page 30 of the Business Day newspaper. On the Nation newspaper, the banner headline there is how governors forward plot to Scotland APC convention. And now we see new leaders to be elected February 26. Buari support sealed date. Uh, we know that this APC convention is something that people have actually waited for this day to come since last year. And there's been on and off pretty much from the party. And, you know, people have said Nigerians have raised opinions on how ready are these party members to make sure something is done in unity, in oneness. And now we're seeing different things are happening. What do you, what's your take on this February 26 that is just around the corner? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's a good thing for the for the party to uh, for for the formation of new uh, um, what was it called um, new council of leadership mm, cabinet uh, uh, you know to to take to take over the leadership of the party. So I, if if it is not good for the for the party at this time, I think uh, they will not uh, it, they wouldn't have fixed February twenty six for the convention. And it is very very important because that is where they will determine. Uh, who is going to take over the mantle of leadership from the current uh, caretaker committee. Mm. And that we also determine, so how they are, um, what is it called, um, uh, who is going to be the flag bearer of the party at the national level, at the state and all mm, of that. State, so, yes. so but I think what is does really matter now and what many Nigerians are looking forward to seeing is the has come of the convention we have seen that of the pdp yes and that uh, you know there has been a lot of shouts from every angle that okay a lot of speculations that okay this may likely to happen you know considering what is even uh in what is coming up in the media regarding the presidential ambitions of some big swings in the party mm. but anyway let's just wait and keep our finger crossed and see how it goes but i think it's a very good thing for the party you know to 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 take uh, the bull by the horn and you know wanting to go for the convention okay uh, still on that nation newspaper president to get reworked electoral bill this week and lawan raises hope uh, at senate house begin work we move over to the blueprint newspaper the banner headline there is lawan counters finance minister buhari never ordered free all subsidy removal of course we're speaking about this story and then the last newspaper this morning is the nigerian news direct the banner headline there is nlc proposed protest no presidential directive for fuel subsidy removal. Of course, uh, that story has been replicated across all the newspapers this morning, and that's coming from the Senate president. Don't forget to also stay updated on our website, www.tostvnetwork.com. And our social media like right there is on the front page of the screen. So you can like, follow, and make sure you're engaged with our post because it concerns Nigeria and Africa. Thank you again for joining us on Nigeria Now. Thank you so much, Mr. Adebayo Fajimi, for welcome. coming on. Thank you, and don't forget we come your way again tomorrow, same time, same station. Bye for now. My name is Mesafola Ginomo.